Well, hi, oh. how are you? Oh, God, are you? I'm sorry. I know. I need to figure out if there's a way to um to uh oh. fade that out. Fade what out, boy? The video that I have played. Oh, you mean the one that's like. That's the song um, that my, my brother wrote. I know. It's nice. Wait, are we live? -y? We are live. Oh, God, are you? Thanks for the We're live, up. baby. We're live. Hey, so we are okay. live with the uh, Tuesday Night Festivities After Party. Thank you to everybody who is here. For those of you who only see this, you should know that we actually do a whole hour before we come here over on uh, Instagram, on my KB Heat Instagram. Uh, mm. We often have guests tonight. We were kind of just talking between the two of us about wow. movies and, and Lonely Heart stuff. Uh, we were supposed to have Benil Dariush, last minute cancellation, but um, you know we have great people and we've got 23 prior episodes with Hall of Famers and champions and stars on the rise and just a, a, a litany of ridiculous guests. So people should look for those here on YouTube or festivities.com. Yeah. With that said, hi. Yes, I'm wearing a silk hope. Yeah. Um, now, so what color would you say this is? Rust. It looks like a rusty. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, you got to make it husk. You can't make it like, uh, you know, Mohawkin pomegranate or, you know. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. You're right. Okay. Terracotta. It got to be right. husk. You're right. Let me, let me rephrase that. That is sangria. I, 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 I use no, your no, 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 no. Give me a second. God no. damn it. That is um, Spanish vacation dream. <laughs> Spanish like, vaca that's Spanish trophy. No, like, that's it's Sp like a it's like a because I feel like that's the color of a terracotta. Yeah, like over in yeah. Spain. Terracotta. And it's it's like a it's like a I'm in a Spanish you know, little, little house, like a, like a clay house in a, with a, with a, with, you know. Well, is it hanging, is it, with, is it hanging on top? And then I'm pouring sangria down your, maybe, your gullet. Right. And I'm with mm. Esteban or cause maybe no, you're we're, with in the, we're in Barcelona. No, you're I, with, you're in Barcelona, but with you in, you in with your uncle Laranza. Not with my uncle. You're with your uncle Laranza having some I, fucking thing. I'm thing. not with. Hey. I'm gonna pour it down your throat some white sangria for him. <laughs> I'm not with enough. I'm mm. over there with like, yeah, no. like, 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 uh, yeah, Esteban or like a, like, never a mind, egg, Esteban. Like a... <laughs> never mind, Esteban. Hey, Hanach is here. <laughs> Hi, now you gotta deal with me, Karayu. Esteban ain't here, Karayu. Mm. <laughs> he ain't here right now, see. No, your ladies, your ladies enjoy this one. We yeah, do if, okay. So what would, why, what would you, what would you call? So yes, I would call that yeah. yes Spanish terracotta, Spanish yeah. Spanish Spanish terracotta romance would be the name of that for me. Okay, fair enough, ladies. Yeah. What would you call it? What say you, Paul? Huh? Well, yeah. Let's see what we see here. Okay, okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to see if anybody, people just want you to expose themselves. Oh, somebody says I should put a robe on. I thought about that of changing into my robe, but then I didn't have time because I was like doing posting the other video and stuff. So I split still the difference. My... Take off your cardigan. <laughs> Take it's off not, your sweater. It's a shirt. I'll just, it can go a lots of ways. It can wear, I can wear it a lot of ways. I'll wear it like this now for the afternoon. You know which way they want you to put, do it? Put it, throw it in the fucking <laughs> guy. Throw it in the <laughs> fucking, where it's on throw the, it in the, the fucking where... hamper. <laughs> Okay, so not for nothing. Yeah. I've always wanted to use this line. Like I've told it to oh, my girlfriends. Oh boy, here we go. I've I've told it to my girlfriends, and I've and I've been like, listen, there's no way this wouldn't work. But I've yeah. never had the occasion to use it. Okay. Those are great pants. They'd look really good on my bedroom floor. Well, I mean, people use that shit. That, that's yeah. an old one. That's an old it's chestnut. Corny, but I think it's no, but good. that's an old chestnut. I mean, wait, you telling me that you're thinking about you using that? <laughs> I always find it funny when women think they need lines and shit. <laughs> I, I could just literally go, you, you want to go? What, like, is that all it takes? Is that a girl? To here's what it check. Like, here's you here's go? all it check. Now, first of all, we don't want. Don't get me hung. 
you're not looking for the woman to put a, you know, to be laid dead on the hold. You know what I mean? Right. Like just you like work a little. You want to hunt know, a little. Well, I don't know if I even want to work necessarily, but <laughs> I think the thing is is like this. All you gotta do is uh, invite the guy out uh, or to the move uh, to like if you tell him you want to see a, a movie, like uh, you want to go uh, invite him to your place. Uh, you, you don't need to say, "Hey, you're gonna, hey, you wanna come to my place and fuck me?" Or whatever. you know, you don't have to say all that. But it's not hard to lure a man to your place. Just, hey, you wanna come over and watch a movie? He's gonna be like, uh, "Yeah, sure." He played cool. He's gonna go, "Oh, that sounds nice." And deep down, he knows what the fuck is going on. That's all it check. You don't need to say, "Hey, uh, is your parents, is your grandparents a thief?" Wow. Your 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 dick look great, or whatever is uh, whatever is the 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 one. Okay, but now I'm. Hoses are head. Violet is blue. I, 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 give me a give to me a blowjob, boy. <laughs> now I wish you could use those kind of line on a female, but you need to do it better than that. Yeah, because honestly, I don't even know what line would like work on me. You know what I mean? You know what I find that a, a oh, line. God. Oh, a line, God. if you're going to use a line, you Somebody better. Somebody said, what is happening? Harlan Loveless said, what is happening? I agree well, with that question. You, you don't take a genius to figure out that one. Now, that's the kind of person who's not got the lines. It's not going to work because you're going to be like, what the fuck is happening? Um, <laughs> I think you can. The only way you could ever get away with a line is yeah. a, a, the girl got to be attracted to you 100%. Right. Okay. Because you're not going to convince a girl with the fucking stupid line. You understand? You're right. You're right. Now, and B, second part of that one, you got to make it clear to her that you know that it's stupid. Like, you got to yeah. let her know that it's, we of both course. think this is ch cheesy. Like, we both understand. If you try to do it where you think you're getting one over, like, ah, oh, you never heard this one. I gotcha. Yeah, you know, like then you fucking is, is pathetic. You understand? Of course, the pants line is like said with a. Yeah, but well, I guess what I mean is like, if you're sitting but around thinking, line. if you're sitting around concocting shit with your girls, like over over like uh, mimosas or whatever, and you're like, no, no, Margaret, here's the here's the one that's really gonna get him. I bet if we said, and then oh God, are you? He's gonna go, kind of. You, why? You're gilding the lily at that point. You, you know, <laughs> you're working too hard, Paul. Okay, good to know. Thank you for that bit of intel. I did not know yeah. that. Um, okay, <clears throat> I did not know that. Okay, so hey, listen, question for you. Since I um, uh, did not get to ask you. Uh, oh, by the way, Paul, by the way, one, one other thing about that. Hmm? It wouldn't fucking hurt. If you said that, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure a guy would absolutely love to hear that. All, it's I'm, funny. all it's I'm boring, saying, but it's funny. all I'm saying is, no, nah, I'm not saying don't do it. All I'm saying is, you don't even need to do that. You, you're really giving him a gift if you're doing that. You understand? You, I you're know. making him happy. You're making him a, a, a man very happy. You okay, know, because you know we spend so much time having to cajole and figure out and, you know, go, you know, we got to come up with the courage. When a girl come up and, and, and throw it out like that, you go, ah, God, are you? <laughs> you know, it's well, like finding a, a dollar in your pants pocket in the laundry. I, I, I understand that. And I feel yeah. like, I feel like um, after watching uh, Love is Blind, which I said is one of the few uh, reality shows that I like, I'm now learning that. The words, while I don't necessarily need a line, I could say the words, I really like football or like, I know about football. And that's yeah. as good an aphrodisiac as well. Um, a lot of dudes. I think that that's girl, good. Or like, or even saying like, I like sports. I think that that's. a lot that of guys want a girl that likes sports. You know what? Here's what we got to differentiate. You hide about that, of course. Here's what we got to, what we need to differentiate. What I was getting from your pants thing was sexual. Yes. Now, if you're talking about 
if you if you want a girlfriend, yeah, you 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 you're gonna want a girl that's not gonna be annoyed by fucking sports. You understand? Right. Now that that comes into the equation. If it's just about just sex, he don't care if you're into the Joffrey Ballet or the what who gives a fuck? He's Hopefully, not gonna be around long enough to find out. Or or that's not gonna be a part of you if he's just sexual. You're not gonna have time watching any sport. You're not gonna be watching any fucking sports with her anyway. Yeah, you know? it's not gonna get you that. So right. it's irrelevant. Right. Right. So that's not necessarily a, a a turn on in terms of like, hey, you wanna come back to my hotel home? I like sports. You understand? Mm -hmm. But yeah, in well, terms of like maybe to hey, this might be a new friend. This might be some somebody that have the same interest. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Well, somebody is saying De Daedalus is saying, Karen, there are, he said, Karen, there are guys that are interested in you, but they're likely too shy or fear rejection. So I won't ask you since you're a public figure and it may be threatening to some of their self-esteem. <clears throat> I mean, okay. So I will say oh. that uh, I understand that that could be a, a, an, an issue, but um, you know, I think it's actually tricky for me if I'm on a Senato, because if I meet somebody, right, like what if they're, how do I know that they don't just want to date the chick that works for the UFC and can get them great seats? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You really think guys is out there scheming going like, <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Karanya. <laughs> you know how to get really great seats. Uh, you, you try to date Karen Bryant. Ah, fuck. Who gives a fuck? It, 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 I'm just saying, like, to, to, to meet if somebody is a normal, a quote unquote normal person, and then you tell them what you do for a living, then it, yeah. it, it the dynamic instantly changes. So okay, it's so here, like you need to here's go out something with somebody you, who does something similar to what I do. So not necessarily because I think the only thing is, like, I think that would be a concern. I think that would be more of a concern if what you did for a living was you was on a sitcom. Or you was on a, 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 a TV show. The, the concern that a, a actor would be like, yeah, she could get me in there. You understand? Mm -hmm. But, but I since think I'm just that, myself on the show, it's not, it's different. Well, no, because think about it this way. It's not like in the acting thing, you can see, you can, you know, a Chom Arnold can weasel his way in there. You understand? Oh my God, yes. Not mm. Chom, but you understand, wow, what okay? An ex what a perfect example. Okay, but, you know, your average Joe Blow is not going to be like, guess what, Poha? I'm going to be a TV anchor or whatever. You understand? I'm going to, there's only certain kind of people that it's a very specific kind of person can even get in the job that you're doing. You understand? Uh, yeah, but certain people will, 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 yeah. But you want to, it's a very narrow, it, it, I don't think it's, yes, of course, there's a chance. It's not a big chance. Right. I don't think guys who want to uh, spend quality time with you, Are I don't think, that, I don't, I, I don't think so. I, I, I hate to break it to you. I don't think they're there for the seats. I think they're there for you seat. You understand okay. your cheeks? Okay. Okay. They want you to sit on that. They want you to sit on their face for her. Oh my god! Well, it's true. Okay, they want you to sit on their lap oh, and hold hands. My god! And listen oh. to and and listen to uh, oh, love and spoonfuls. <laughs> okay, the love the love and spoonful. Okay, so I um I I want to ask you, Hinato. What about me, but? First of all, if you, you know, what about me and other women who wanted to, to get at my fortune, who want free Hanato Laranja merchandise at Hanato shop, Hanato Laranja Squarespace? They need okay? to buy it themselves. They want more follower. They want me to follow that one. They want me to make love. They use me uh, as a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Some of them want to me to sire a children's. You, you understand? Are There's you a lot of. Somebody actually asked you that? I've had even lesbian couple uh, want me to be the baby daddy of that one. Are I've you had serious? that. I've had that. I now I'm not even joking about that. And you declined. Um, I did. I didn't did that one. Um, <laughs> That's I've a had, lot. That's a lot. Oh I God! Like, I, I don't oh, think I would God agree to that. If no. I were a guy, I would not agree to that. 
No. Well, even if, even if I wanted to help my friends out, I'd be like, Ugh. maybe when I'm I, old, it'd be, really, it'd be weird to, mm. to have a kid that you had nothing invested in. Oh, I don't mind I'd that. Be- That's not the problem, Karen. Um. So now, now. Uh, Holy crap. No. Um. <laughs> so what's your problem with it? I didn't want them? those lesbians to fall in love with me and to get the whole idea. For How are they going to get the, uh, where they, where they were? You know, because the one that I'm going to have sex with or whatever, then she's going to oh, so go. you're going to do it the old fashioned way. Then. Oh, that's the only way I'm going to do that one. Um, I don't trust the other way. I have to do it all natural. Could you do it clinical? Could you do it clinically like that? You mean just as, do it intercourse? Yeah, just to do it, just to, to make the baby. Well, it wouldn't be clinical. I would still be enjoying myself. Like I'm still gonna put on like HMB music, and and I'm also gonna put light hawk. And I'm you? yeah, I'm still gonna do that. I'm just, although, because although you gotta seventy super soul play. I mean, like a like. Well, a, you gotta like do the passion. You gotta have the passion. It don't mean that we don't gonna have fun. One, I'm gonna give her two pump and then turn, then another two, then here, I go clinically, technically. I'm fucking you right now. No, I'm gonna go. What are you? And she's gonna go. Oh, poor heart. And then she's gonna go like this, like. But she doesn't even like I'm, food. Yeah, but it, if she's with me, she go to like this. I, I love you. She, she she's like know. she's kissed she's me not, like this. She go, she go, really she go, she go Uncle Hanach. I love you. And then she's also go. Oh, how are you? And she go. She go. Oh, my tum, my, my, st- my stomach, poor. Heart. She'll be like, thank you so much for doing this for us. We really appreciate it. Um, we'll, no, I don't uh, think we're so. We're so happy that you're doing this. For I think it's caused a lot of problems for some of those women, and it's gonna fuck up a nice lesbian relationship to because the because the one that looked like Kenny Hodgers or or oh, because it's always gonna look like one more than the other. Well, because I'm I'm go because <clears throat> one of them I'm gonna have sex with the lipstick one, you know, and then the one that looked like uh, Michael McDonald or whatever, and wearing like Birkenstock, she's gonna be hating. Oh, sweet freedom. Yeah, she's going to be very depressed. Yeah. And the other one, exact. And the other one, yeah, uh, she's going to get jealous. Oh, you know? God. Yeah. Because okay. all she has to offer is like a pottery and all whatever pottery class. She can throw some pots and do some stuff like that. They make ice cook? cream together. Can that one, they make homemade ice cream. Huh? Can that one cook? Which one? The. Oh, the. The one who is like to wear the bar- the Barkish stock, yeah, but only macrobiotic for her. Lentils, she nails yeah, she lentils. Ma- she make a champe lentil. Uh, she's used Bragg uh, amino acid or whatever, and she only uses Dr. Brana on her, and she she's a pumice stone on her fucking oh feet. God, she uses a pumice are... stone on her oh. bunion. God. Oh and see, then when the lipstick one is 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 get a chase of Yonko Hanash, she go cut all you. This ain't half bad for her. And the lipstick one is a film exec. Hey, even better. Because that's that's where all the all they all are in Hollywood, allegedly. Well, allegedly, Carol, Allegedly. Careful, she said that I didn't. You're gonna. You're in trouble now, Carol. I'm gonna Why am I in trouble? That's a fact. Because, because you're not supposed to say that. That there are lesbian film executives. Look at the piping on this one. Oh God, I... <laughs> it's very good. It's piping hot. Spanish terracotta romance. That's what I called it, right? Spanish terracotta romance. Yep. You don't really come, come tripping me off the chunk. Okay, I know, but okay, I'll I'll work. It's a work in progress. Okay, so. What did you think, Kanato, of, um, I know you are a big fan of Israel Adesanya. What did you think of his performance against former champion Robert Whitaker? I thought it was, you know, I thought it was something else. I thought it was, you know, I, I, look, whenever the guy fight, it's kind of a beautiful thing to watch. Whether or not he's knock out the guy or whatever, but the movement, the, the, the footwork, the dodging, the kicks, uh, you know, like this close to the, I mean, you know, it's exciting to watch, uh, you know, what are you going to say? It was, it was, you know, and I wasn't one of those people who look at best for me at best, at very best, Hubbard Whitaker is a draw. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
in my that in my sense. estimation. Now, I I mean, and, and that is at that is that, that is that is being generous. Okay. Now, in my I've been watching fighting stars my whole life. Whether it's full contract capoeira, whether it's boxing, whether it's MMA, whatever the fuck it is, you want to check a belt, you gotta check it from the champ. So a chai goes to the hunter, you know, the chai goes to the champ. So in my estimation, now I'm sorry, even though I like Harbor Whitaker, okay? I don't, I, I, when I see people saying that he won and that he got hobbed, I, I, nah, I, I don't see it, you know? I don't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he got robbed. I think it was a very close fight. I think Israel won. Yeah, but uh, I mean, for a lot, a lot of what you were saying, like to me, what a lot of I noticed even more about that fight, in, in which he's always great at, is that like matrixy evasion, you know, yeah. of like getting away from stuff, slipping stuff, and uh, getting away from it. So that's fun to watch to me. It was a very, very, very close fight, and I, and I, uh, you know, the first round he sat Robert down, and so obviously that's a big, you know, a big score for him. Can I? But can I? Can I interject? Um, of course. Um, when people are saying that it's a close fight, and also I, I'm not trying to be smart, uh, Harbert uh, Whitaker. Yep. I think they're putting a lot of value on the takedowns. The problem yeah. I have with that is that they didn't go anywhere, you know. No, Izzy uh, got and it was very than... brief. They right. were very there was brief. Nothing, so no I damage. can't. I, I if, if there was like the kind of checkdowns that had damage and and had him in trouble and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Yes, I think that now you're talking about it was a close fight. For right. me, when you're talking about, I, I, I you know, if if we're just talking about on the feet and we're just kind of considering that only, I, I feel like it it wasn't so much of a close fight. But maybe I only saw it once, so I could be wrong. But I I. I I never saw Izzy to be in any kind of like distress or, or uh, I, you know, whereas I felt like there was times when, 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 you know, when Whitaker might have been, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I felt like there was a lot of give and take. So to me, it seemed evenly give and take. Yeah, to me, I, to I, me, I, I, I must have been. You know, and I've been home before, you know, when I watch back something, I go, let me just sure. watch it with a different eyeball. Sure. For me, I felt like there was a lot more of the give from me out of Sanya. Like I felt like he was more in control for more of the fight. You know, mm. it looked like that to me. It looked okay. like one yeah, guy. No, who... That's what I'm saying. He, do, he did to me look like he was dictating where things played out as well. I agree. What does Dick have anything to do with this? Dictating, dictating where the pace played out. Dictating. Dick, Dick hating. Dictating. You're a dick hater, is what you are. I'm, I'm actually not at all. Not at all. Okay, but you're fasting from it at least. Not by choice. You want a dick fast for her? <laughs> not by choice. Like he slim fast, dick fast. NBC, not by choice. Oh, God. Well, I think it is by your choice, if I'm honest. I, where, where am I, where am I, where am I, where are my options? Look at the comments. <laughs> Let's see. No offense, but I'm, I'm not necessarily going to be dating random youtube viewers i don't know them what if some i mean what everybody watch youtube uh even even your precious matt damon <laughs> <laughs> even precious. he watch let's see uh, okay yeah anyway i'm i'm not too worried about that okay but yeah i thought that was incredible uh i, I mean a, a very close fight incredible for israel adesanya to be that's what his fifth defense he said right um, is that right or is that wrong? Mm. Um, that sounds about right. high. Um, I think so because I remember I thought I saw a picture got, of him. You got like Whitaker one. You got Whitaker one. You got Marvin Vittori one. You got right. Costa. You got Vittori two five. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So so um, you know, Cannoneer looks to be next. That elbow he landed on Derek Brunson was something else. 
I told you I saw him knocking him out. I thought it was going to be a, um, an uppercut. Uh, that's what I was seeing in my mind, but he did knock him out. Dude, that was bad. Like, that, Derek was yeah. out, out. Well, yeah. So was the Black Beast. Ooh, I know. But that was an accumulation. That, that, that elbow that he got him with on that one, that was more like, oh, boy. Like, ugh, enough. Yeah, that enough. was the buildup of... Yeah, that was, a he was already, he was already like, oh, God, oh, you. and then it was like, boop. A lot of swinging and banging, but it almost could have gone either way. Of course, that's what's so exciting about both of those fucking guys. And that's what you wanted to see. I mean, not necessarily you want the Black Beast to lose or whatever, but you wanted to see one of those guys go out on the shield or whatever, you right. know? You didn't exactly. want it to see like, oh, boy, you know? Right, exactly. No, because I, I worked yeah. the night, um, um, uh, Derek and Francis fought, you know, and mm. I remember we were building it up. We were like, this is going to be the greatest. And it was fight. literally the worst. The worst. The worst. Yeah. The it worst. was the worst I ever saw. Paul. The worst. The worst. Um, okay. So out, out of two exciting fucking fighters, nobody could have uh, predicted that in a million years. Yeah. Nobody could have, but it happened. You know, it happened sometimes the chemistry. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Like it, it yeah, like you said, it, it it is what it is. Um, like so me speak, and my baby mamas, there's no chemistry no more. How many and the, baby mamas? And the kids too. There's no chemistry between me and them anymore. Well, there's, the bio, there's actually a lot of biology and chemistry between you. Well, there's biology, but no chemistry. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just not into it. You're a boron. What's that one? That's like a LeBron. I'm the LeBron yeah, of, totally of baby did data. A chemistry joke. Oh, a total dork. I, I, you know what? Chemistry was Boron about my work. an element and the chart of. Now I remember that, but boy, oh boy, did I hate that fucking class. Oh, I chemistry. am the biggest dork. Yeah, you are, and that's why there's no, there's no, that's why you're not experimenting with any dick in there. You're not doing any dick experiment in there because of the chemistry. Oh wow! Then a lot of guys are boron, though. That's the thing. Wow! Well, I gotta give you a bunch. I can't bonus. believe I just dropped the chemistry joke. I am the biggest dork. Oh my god! Boy, Ugh. somebody said, "Yeah, I use the periodic table for pickup lines." I really do. See how well it's working? No, I I'm don't like it. over here. I don't want you. Don't be behind me when you're on your periodic table. <gasps> And I just said I'm sulfuring over here. Ah, ah, ah! My ears, poor huh? You you're making me. I'm gonna get depressed. <gasps> oh my god! I gotta tell my kid those later. Every time I drop a punch, he's like, oh, Ooh. cringe is so hard. Well, huh, I oh, want is hey, is cyanide an element? Be because I'm gonna I want to check one of that now. Oh, uh, I'm gonna fall on my swag. Oh. I literally will sit here and make holy crap dorky chemistry jokes. I am that big of a loser. Oh my god. Okay, wow. so um uh uh okay, Hanato. We were talking um on Tuesday night festivities over on my uh IG live, which we do every Tuesday at seven o'clock uh Pacific 10 Eastern, uh for those of you who don't know. And we were talking about rom-com movies and some of our favorite rom-com movies, and I was telling you my favorite rom-com movies. But I'm curious if you have a list of favorite breakup movies or like breakup oh. songs or diss songs or F okay. or you know what I mean? You know what is a spicy fucking breakup movie? That's not your conventional breakup movie that have a lot of bad feelings in there, but a lot of sexy stuff's true. You remember the movie Closer? Oh, I Woo. love that movie. Woo. Dude, I... Mm, mm. Uh, first Owen. of all, there's a lot of sexy stuff going on in there. It has something, the something for both of us, okay? You know, yes. fair enough. So but hold God, on, time I, out for, yeah, to, time out for people to know. Julia Roberts, Clive Owen, Ju um, um, uh, what's the face with the pretty blue eyes? What's the English guy with the pretty blue eyes? Who Jude Law, poor her. Jude Law and Natalie Portman. That's yeah, your and, list. And like, that's your stars. And gorgeous. Especially fucking Natalie Portman in that one. Oh, gorgeous. God. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Um, All of them are gorgeous. Anyway, mm. sorry. Uh, but when things get nasty in there, oh, boy. 
when stuff, you know, when stuff go south, you know what I'm saying? Be, like some of the conversations between them, it's like, oof, oof. Um, mm, that's good stuff. It I is, like that one. Well, some of the stuff, yeah, between Julia and when they're, yeah, like they get. Yeah, and Clive Owen. Oh, oof. They out to hurt each other for her. There's a lot of hurt. There's hurt feelings in that one. Well, so here's the thing. I will say this, Hanato. I'm not a, um, I don't know what kind of person you are when you fight, but I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not a malicious person. Like if anything. I, I doubt that. I, I can imagine you being very no, fatty. Nope. Not at all. I, I bite my tongue. Like there's stuff I could eviscerate somebody. Yeah. But uh, then you do it in, in here life in the behind the scenes, you, you, you destroy their life and the, the, no, 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 but I'm no, I don't. I'm actually, I don't. Oh. I, I swallow. Well, never mind. I was gonna say, I swallow. you do what? Oh, well, then, well, listen, listen, we can work it out, man. They don't need you, you don't need to break up. I'm just saying, I always took the high road and take the high road, and there, and there are times when I could like eviscerate somebody, and I just don't. So I'm not a, when I fight, I, I, I don't, I'm, I fight clean. I don't bring up old crap. I don't, I don't like to fight basically. So is first of I all, I to. agree. I agree. And I'm the type that don't like to fight either. I, I, I also try to get nip it in the fucking bud heel quick, you know, mm -hmm. but, but sometime if somebody's being unreasonable and they got a bones to pick with me and they talking shit and blah, 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 blah. Eventually I'm just going to shut down. And then. Uh, you know, I'm going to probably excuse myself, you know, and do something else. I'm going to just walk out and leave the house. Yeah. I love the walk away. Like the walk away is powerful. I'm I like, got to go because you're because yeah. I can't even right now because I can't. I'm going to get some fresh air. Yep. Take a minute. I'm going to walk the doggy and I'm mm -hmm. going to let you to marinate in your own poison. Um, and that can be they they because they hate that too. But I, I'm right. I'm certainly not gonna you know lose my fucking mind over some bullshit. You know. Nice, nice, right, right, right. Okay, so again, okay, okay, so do you? Um, again, we were asking, do you have? Uh, yeah, people saying yeah, don't fight and stuff like that. So, oh, um, no. a great. So, so yeah, do you do you have? A, yeah, so let's talk. We were talking though, breakup movies and breakup songs and you know. So that one. Um, I mean, obviously, I haven't seen it in years, but I, you know, the classic Kramer versus Kramer. No, that's no, that one's oh, brutal though. That one is hurt your feelings. Um, it is. Which is some? What's some other breakup ones? I'm well, trying to think. Well, there's been some recently of like Marriage Story and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and that was good, but I only seen that one, so I didn't want to throw it in there because it's to me, it's not a classic. I seen it. I, exactly. I enjoyed it. I thought they did a good job. It was mean and nasty, some of the right. stuff they did to each other. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't have a, a close relationship to that one yet. Um, so here's, here's one, though, that's like a breakup movie and a rom-com at the same time, and that's Forgetting oh. Sarah Marshall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that go, in, that, that go into the rom-com category, I think. More than the breakup, because the whole premise yeah. is that they broke up, though. Yeah, but it's a, like, a rom-com, you know? Yeah. yeah, but I think the breakup... Yeah, I mean, when I think of breakup movies... They're not very funny, God, are you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah oh, there's curious. a nasty one. You know what's a nasty one in that one? But that's Which even one? more just marriage. It's like a divorce movie. It's um, um, Your Friends and Neighbors. You ever seen oh, that? Oh, my God. Oh. That one is vicious. It's dark. I mean, that's probably the darkest one. Really dark. Really dark. Yeah. Um, really dark. That movie is great, though. I love that movie. But it's a, you better... You be you better it's be brutal. in the hype mood for that. One. I used to have that one on like VHS tape. You know what I mean? It's a good. It's a good. You remember that fucking story, that monologue that Jason Patrick gives Jason in the scene? You, you remember when favorite. he when he talked about what they did to the to the kid? You know, uh, when they like beat up the kid in high school, oh, and then they yes. that he did. I don't even want to go into yes. what he did. No, I know, I know. But I when know, he's telling so the story, it's like, yeah. I mean, what a hell of a fucking story. Hey, it's you want to know something I found out recently? You know who what? Jason Patrick's dad is? Uh-uh. He's the priest from fucking Exorcist. Really? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Hmm. Did not know that. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, I did not know that. Somebody, so Luke Diamond, Luke Dickard, rather, is saying Gone Girl is a great breakup movie, and I agree. 
Gone Girl is a great. Have you seen that one? So it was a really good. Book. I saw it uh, once. Okay, I saw I it once. So it's you know Ben Affleck and yeah, um, yeah of course. What is her name? Um, I can't even remember the name. Ruth. What is her name? I forget. Here, I can Google it. Anyway, Gone Girl is great, and it is the a fantastic. I saw. It, I saw it once. I can't that even is. think <gasps> about. It's really good. No, that's actually but one of those. I think of that as just a thriller. Like it is a thriller, but it is a breakup fu movie too, uh, and it's one that I, uh, yeah, if that one's on and I'm channel surfing by, I'm like, well, I'm watching Gone Girl because it's also kind of female empowerment. Uh, and so, I just thought of a romantic comedy that I didn't put in my list that that is fucking great. Rosamund Punk Pike is her name. Rosamund. Pike. Rosamund Pike. That that's the chick. It, that's the lead in Gone Girl. Oh, well, who cares about that one? Um, oh, um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, fucking boomerang, uh, for, no. for, uh, romantic yeah, comedy. We, fucking love that movie. movie. Oh, boomerang is fantastic. That one is, 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 um, Eddie's such a player in that at first. And everything. yeah, it's so fucking good. Every And, and, and there's breakups and there's all kinds of shit. Yeah. Got, Jasmine, right? She's no, it's, um, isn't it Jasmine guy? No, not Jasmine guy. Sorry. It's, um, Hobbing it's, given. Um, Robin Givens, right? Exactly. And, and and you have a what's her name? Uh, um, uh, 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 no, no, I know her, but um, as the boss, as the Bertha chick, Kitt? no, the client, her too. But I was thinking of Grace Jones. Grace uh, Jones, uh, I Strange, love her. Strange, Strange, you remember? And he, and she, he, she remember she shows she she shows she goes look bad. at this this pussy. <laughs> yeah, I love. And then her. she wanted to call her her fragrance after birth or whatever. After birth. <laughs> I went to Grace Jones's birthday party at the Palladium oh, right. oh, in New York City once. Now that must have been a fucking uh, hell of it a It was, situation. and I will not talk about it right now, but offline, oh, okay. I some will stuff, tell you some, some, some stuff. Some stuff I can only imagine. I love Grace Jones. Um, I do too. I've but seen remember, her in concert as well. She's a great musician. People don't realize. Um, I like that, that song she did from that soundtrack of that movie Frantic. You, you ever seen that movie Frantic? Um, it's a home in Polanski Hitchcock? movie. Oh, no, Robert it's a home in Polanski movie. It's very Hitchcockian, and it takes place. Is it a Harrison Ford? Yeah, it, it, it Harrison Ford, and then he's oh, like and it's fast, fast, fast. Well, also his he, his wife disappear. Like he's in the other home, and she right. just disappear. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's this creepy, not that creepy. Well, it's kind of moody. Um, Grace Jones song that follow him throughout the whole movie. And in fact, I played it the first time we ever did a thing, Which a promo it? for it. I put it, you know, that one where it looked like you're, you're coming after me and I'm like, oh, God, are you? Yeah. You know that one and it's in black and white? I put that song underneath that shit. Which song is it? I can't even remember the name. It was like, I seen your face before. Oh, anyway, yeah. Well, I whatever. love her. She's fantastic. Yeah. I saw her in concert at the Hollywood Bowl. Like, I love yeah. her. But let's get back to her in fucking boomerang. Cause you remember there was like all those guys was like carry her in a chariot or whatever. And she was like whipping those guys. Um, and, and what she called the fragrance, she was like, call it, you remember she goes steel vagina or whatever. And then no, that guy was... goes, no, but then she wants to call after birth. And then the other one, oh, she goes steel vagina. And then the guy, you know, the guy from the seven up commercials or whatever, he goes like that. He goes steel vagina. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's the Sprite. It was Sprite commercials. Sprite, Sprite, yeah, yeah. The, uh, cola, the uncola. Right? Yeah. What was his name? Because he's he either he was, he's Jamaican and, and he Jamaican. He is very Jamaican. Or something like he, that. he is Jamaican. Yeah, no, I think and they he, were both Jamaican. Yeah, he's from um yeah, uh, he he was he was also in um the Uncola. In Live and Let Die or whatever. You know? Oh the what a guy great song the, that is, though, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, of course. Even the Guns oh. and Hoses version. Yeah. Okay. So J uh, JHL twenty five, who is a regular viewer, talking about Cable Guy. Cable Guy is a yeah. Guy. That's a good fuck. Yeah. That what a that's a good call. Yeah. Now, that movie is really based that, on a right? breakup. It's a hell of a break. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. Oh. Cable Guy is great, and you saw that they did a recap Love sort of commercial for the uh, Super Bowl. Um, I missed some of the commercial. I missed a few whatever. of the commercials. But 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 Cable Guy, I I can't hear uh, the Jefferson Starship song and not think of Cable Guy and stuff. Yeah 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 yeah. That's a, that when he when he's in the karaoke or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and it's all trippy. 
Yeah, that shit is great. Um, and then the next morning when he's just like, no, it's cool, it's cool. I got next. And he's like, yeah, I checked it. Yeah, I, no, I buy, you buy, no, I, it this it, time, yeah. I buy this time, you buy that? Yeah. yeah. He goes, no, I and tried it like, myself. Not a drip or whatever. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Like that scene. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Well, that movie is, yeah, that movie is great. At the time, uh, a lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't like his style or whatever, but oh, well, it, it was, it was, dark it was so him. fucking good, though. Yeah, it's, of course it was dark, but it was, yeah, it was great. It was a Ben Stiller I, directed. Ben Stiller directed that one. Yeah. I love, I love Cable Guy. That is one that I so, will watch over and over, one and, over and over and over again. But so that begs the question, though, you know, about yeah. like Eskimo brothers and stuff like that. Do you have any Eskimo brothers in that too? That you? Oh know? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm you not going to say which. Yeah. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? It is what it is, Paul. I mean, listen. No, I don't like. Listen, listen, listen. I, I don't is that like because the BJJ wow. world is a small community. There's that, but also in the in in, in Los Angeles, the entertainment community, like it's like um, if you fuck it at home with like a girl that's very very attractive, if she's in a certain age group or whatever, there's there's a good chance she's mingling a hound and she's at least had one experience with some fucking famous dude or sports guy that you know of or some guy you idolize you know some guy you love and you're like ah God, I, you know it's happened to me in more a few fucking times yeah <laughs> but you ask i don't care in that situation i just but don't you ask though no it, it, um i didn't ask, I, I never asked that kind of stuff it, it will be a situation where, let's say, it come up that they used to date so and so. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what? What do I think they did? They're holding hands, uh, uh, you know, and what? You know, I mean, they're fucking each other, especially a guy of that stature. You know, like, yeah, they, they have yeah. Been... So. She's fucking me. She's not going to be fucking, you know, whoever, God knows, whatever guy, you know? No, I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking of, about my, I'm like, oh, wow, I might be fresh meat because I was married for so long and I was up, off the market. And now I'm like, hey, hi. <laughs> so I, I'd be like a. <laughs> wow. I mean, you know, I mean, there's some I people who, there's some people who haven't been with some of those, you know, with anybody famous, but there's a couple of ladies out there in this channel. I didn't say that, Renato. Oh, that's true. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then you you meet ain't that fresh then. Stop There's lying. been stories. I I've dabbled. Okay, well then stop trying to uh stop <laughs> trying to label your stuff see fresh meat. That's it. That's no. a horse meat. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a, like an age here by. I I would say there's there's not a. lot there's not a lot but there's a uh, a couple fair enough so then if you tell a guy that nothing, if you fucking but not, with him but not nothing nothing crazy like nothing overly serious you mean like the person wasn't crazy or the 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 situation well, some people some people it was a, some people was some people it was a little bit more of an entanglement than others let's just put it that way some people was uh, some things, you know, you sort of dabble a toe in the water, and some people you put both feet in, if you know what I'm saying. Well, Kara, he put where he put both his feet in, into you. You into some freaky shit, poor her. How you how you know that that's safe to do that? You're gonna get athlete. You're gonna get jock itch from that one. You let a grown man put his feet. I'm just saying, if I could write a book, it would be really good. But I can't write that book. Wow. Well, Somebody said before or after marriage. It was way before. Because after. Is what if it was just during just, marriage or that? No, yeah, just during. No, but if I could put a book. Um, obviously, it was before because the after is only like now. So, what else did you get into besides, was... besides your feet and toes and stuff like that? What else did you do? What? Not to his show is not about me. It's about your feet. Did I get into what do you mean? Did I get into Hanato? I was a 20 something year old living in New York City. I was an MTV VJ, and then I was working on like different other shows and stuff like that. Like, so you let I, everybody who went to a MTV see you VJ? <laughs> 
Is that what they call that one? Like a star fucker? Or you're like, oh, I was an MTV VJ. Your VJ was for anybody who's worked there. Even the Janova. Even the guy, the security guard that wear like the, the a suit, a cheap suit that you sign in, your name. Even he can have that one. It's maroon. Yo, know, I'm maroon. <laughs> um, <coughs> um, no. I, um, oh my God, no. I did not uh, take all cumbers. Let's just put it that way. Oh, okay. Um, I, yeah, no, I, I'm discriminating, Hanato. If you can't tell, you should know you by discriminate? now. You're... You discriminate against people? Well, now you, <laughs> okay, proof. So I you mean, was a, you show is, everybody you reject. No, 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 no. And I'm then an also you opera. discriminate. Okay. I'm, I'm an You're digging opera. a hole for yourself. I don't need, I even need to help you. God dang it. I'm an equal opportunity lover, but I'm just so you uh, let anybody to do it then. Okay, so you. But I'm discriminating in that. Yes, not everybody can get it. Like you got to be worthy. Ah, also, so a but certain saying, kind of I'm people. Not, so a certain kind of people, of people. A certain kind of person can't get it. Interesting. No, I no, I'm just. Oh my god. So I need to like a hot chat. I need to like a fat. I mean, uh, sorry, a uh, Hubenesque. I need to like a Lizzo. I yeah. can't dis I can't discriminate You're against twisting my words. By you, you can discriminate against anybody you want, poor high guys. You're, You're twisting my words, though. So. But I gotta like it. fat ladies. I gotta like uh, you know, but, um, a, a lesbian that look like a Michael McDonald. But you're twisting my words. I'll twist your your. I'll give you a chitty twisters if you're not careful. <laughs> you twist. Do you have wow. a special move? Is that is that is <laughs> it's called tune in Chokio Poha? I try to tune in. Caray. You know it is a trick though. You want to know a dirty trick? Okay, here's a here's a dirty trick. You know, sometimes a woman what no oh, god what about okay okay yeah what Okay, so you know some some women. Okay, so I, I I'm one of those guys. Some guys is not into it. You know, most guys these days is, is good with that one, but it's a conolingus. Okay, most wait, guys. Wait, is, wait, 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 wait. Do you said most guys are not to it? No, most guys isn't. You know, it's good. It, 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 even if they maybe not, it's not their favorite. They they doing it. it. It's like these these days you're not gonna find a lot of guys who's not gonna do. You know, it's almost like you're not gonna find a lot of women who don't give a blowjob or whatever. You understand? I do understand. I mean, that should go without saying, yeah? So, I do understand. So, um, I'm one of the people who's on the list of, like, on the side of the spectrum where I really like that one. But as good as it is when it's good, if it's, if it's not great, it's like, it's not like pizza where it's like, eh, even cold pizza, you know, it's like, mm, if it's not good, it, you don't know what it's like? You know what it's like? Ironically, sushi. Are you literally you, seeing the taste or the? No, 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 no. I'm saying the quality, like the the the, the approach. I I don't understand either, what you're saying. Yeah. Either you're either saying. the sushi, it, you gotta eat. Either I love. I mean, the sushi gotta be fantastic. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna eat gas station. So you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna eat. Hey, we got this. Is you know half off. You don't know, you it's from the, the day before. The rest of the person has to be. I'm talking about the vagina. Nobu or the whole, I don't, no I, the I, vagina the vagina. I'm, How, I'm so saying a Nobu vajay I'm vajay trying to say it like Nobu this. Vajay. If the pussy is good, just like a sushi, it's a fantastic experience. If it's off at all, it's a fucking disaster. You understand? But what qualifies as off? Take. Taste. Where it smell like a uh, 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 cadaver. <laughs> That's what's off. It's a churn off, frankly. Okay, and you 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 laughing, but it, it, it's not really a laughing matter because you think it's funny, but it happened to guys more often than you think for her. A lot of women who is, look very good and very clean and smell nice and everything. Can have a a fucking uh, a, 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 a vagina that smell like a 
Hmm. Yeah. Uh, la, uh, listen, any guy. Yeah, a, a, a cadaver. <laughs> because listen, when it's half, it's half, baby. And 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 that's the thing. It's like as enjoyable as it is oh, when it's God. nice. It's unfucking doable when it's not nice. You know, it's fucked up. Okay. Oh my God! You said now. Cadaver. What now, having word. said that, what a good word. Now, having said that, uh -huh. you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, you know. I don't want to go like, ah, I'm not going down there, or whatever. You understand? You know, like I'm not going down, and they go, ah, fuck. So, what you would probably like to do is get a sense of that beforehand, you know. So, if maybe you're playing around with her a little bit, few hands, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not, though. I don't. No, no, no. I know what you're going to say. I don't. I don't want to hear the rest of this. I know what you're going to say. You do a little dip. You do a dip and sniff or something like that. Yeah, I but then how, how how would I do a dip and sniff like that? I'm going to go like this and just go. You think that I'm just going to do this and go like this in front of her? That's why I was trying to teach a technique. It might save a lot of people a lot of awkward situations, but I guess you don't want to hear about that. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. It is the day after so Valentine's in, in, Lonely Heart Special. <laughs> we are here for people. Please do teach, Hinato. So instead of to going like this and then go, ah, because we were just talking about nipple and technique. You know what I'm saying, you? So then maybe you want to check that, that cherry and to suck on that one. And then as you're doing that, look like this. Look. Hold on. God, are you? And you go like this. God, are you? Now, if it singes your nose hairs, then you know that the only thing that you can engage with that woman, if anything, is going to be in a quash. But I'm not going to uh, bother myself with going down there if it's like that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I and we're never even going to get to that at, yeah, at that point. You understand? Okay, but will you, okay, I don't even believe I'm asking this question. I mean, is this a stuff that happened to human beings? If we're talking reciprocity. There's not, <laughs> okay. Does that mean you try to cut straight to the chase? Or you don't ask for a pregame. I'm not asking for shit. First of all, um, I never. I, I, it, but you know, if she's gonna pregame, she's gonna expect pregame in 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 in. I'll response. put it to you this way. I'm not going to go down on a pussy that smells like. Like Why it has have to be so graphic. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go down on a vagina that smells like uh you know um it smells like a halibut or whatever, or smell like a uh I don't want that one. If you smell like you having in like it's having infection or or like it's have some problem in there. Or like a yeast infection or whatever the fuck, you know, something's off. And then you think to yourself, listen, why you do you shouldn't even be going on a date if 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 if, if why this you shit out? Is like that. Yeah, I, I you're not I agree with that. Why are you out, Ho? It would it would be the same thing like you wouldn't go to a date uh, uh, without your fucking teeth brushed or something well, like that. Well, but you could also stop before you get to that point, by the way. You can't go out if, like, you have issues. Like, you but I'm saying, you just, I'm, I, you just don't have to, like, get that far. I'm just saying, like, God, I, you, but it, a lot of a lot of time when I've encountered this stuff, it's like, uh, and? You know what I mean? Like, they, they certainly got no qualms about it. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, ah. God. And you think, oh, they should not God. know about this? Like, I, I, I can, this shit is horrendous. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Grant, it's not, of course, that's not the norm or whatever but it, it if you're gonna ask a lot of guys like ask some guys in this thing every fucking guy has been through this m a, 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 a good amount of time okay and it's fucked up because it can be with somebody you really like too but it, 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 there's a certain stuff about that that's it, it, it's too much 
if there was something like that, uh, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to subject a woman to that uh, uh, of well, myself. Let's just say we women have our fair share of disappointments too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But I that's fine. And I'm not this isn't an indictment. Actually, this, that's when you're I'm like, sorry. Oh, this is not I just remembered I had I a very early appointment. This is not an that indictment. That's not worth it. This is not an indictment of the woman of women. This is just reality where some chimey there can be some stuff that's not kosher going on there. And in that situation, I might split the difference and make it make it love or whatever. But well, if you're asking you me to bear to to bury it my up, fucking right? yeah, so, well, <laughs> especially in that situation, God, I... Thank you. If not, if not, I'm gonna do a Hail Mary because please wrap it up. If oh, not, I'm just please. going. I, I'm going like this. My God, please don't don't no, give me anything here. Yeah. Don't give me any heebie jeebie. No, but here's that stuff. Please wrap it up. But like to just put my face, my nose, my, the olfactory sense, God, I, I go like this. Mm. Like I it, uh, it go like okay, we can we can move on. You know, it's like a, you ever watch a hand and stimpy? When like he, oh, when they smell something I bad, love yeah. That but you know how like when somebody smells something bad, like it, uh, one of them get their teeth pulled and you see the smell yeah. come out, and then <laughs> and then you hear like, you <laughs> pulled your right, and you the hear like, is you're like a fucking bolt sound, and then you hear like seagulls go, <laughs> like that's what happened when you go down there. It goes, <laughs> you hear like a foghorn, and you and like uh, it's getting murky. Oh. He's bad. The chidey ball man is down there. He's going like, oh, God. Oh, oh my God. That was a way, pun intended, deeper dive than like I, I want. to This is to things go. that happen, though. These things happen. It's like if we're talking about jujitsu, we you can't pretend that there's no hangworm that can happen or they, they, you know, staff have happened to people. Uh, people sometimes have bad breath. Some people have a stinky cloth. These is things, it's a reality. And, you well, know, I know we, yeah, that, that would suck if somebody like hasn't washed their gi in a while. Yeah. And it happened. And you have to figure out what am I going to do about that? You know, the guy smelled like shit and he's asking me to haul. Do I do it or do I find a way to excuse myself out of it? I don't think right. that's a, a taboo subject to talk about. It shouldn't be no, with it's... somebody uh, body odor in their vagina right. or their fucking sex oh life, whatever. Oh my god! I'm just a vagina, a vagina, a vagina. I know, I know, I know. Whatever. I'm not afraid. Vagina. Of the word. I'm not afraid of the word. I'm just saying that normalize you normalize your vagina. Oh, my normalize yeah. me calling it a vagina. What if I told you I was touching it right now? I don't believe you. <laughs> I mean, I could be. You want to see something though for here? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, say, but I, I, I actually, yeah, you could be, but hopefully, you know what I'm going to, I want you to do right now then. Go like this. Bring it and go. You don't even, you don't even have to do it for a long time. Just do it one of these. Like. You are terrible. Oh my God. You're like if I me watch the game, like when I was watching the Super Bowl. I win like this. I scratch my nuts and I go like this. I'm watching. Yeah. I'm watching the play. Hold on. I go like this. <laughs> Even though no one else is a hound, I like this. Look. Why? That's disgusting. Why? Why? That's gross. It's impossible oh. not to. No, it's the yeah. evolutionary thing because you're seeing if you're okay. Yeah. I will say I do notice if my. Never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're telling the truth. You don't want to tell the truth. You're lying to yourself, boy. Huh? You're just a human being. I was only going to talk. You have about a urine. vagina. You have your blood. I was only you have going to a... talk about urine. I was literally only going to talk about urine, but even still, I thought that was a you, bit much. You what? You so you think it's more normal to talk about urine than to talk about what we was talking about? What kind of fucked up sexual I'm life just do you the have? Scent of, the scent of your urine can tell you a lot. Oh, oh, That's yeah. Okay. That's so you wanted to talk about you said I thought you just said you wanted to talk about urine. Never mind. I don't want to talk about your. And I'm saying you into water sports. Just it, look. No. I'm not going. I'm not going to kink shame you. You into water sports? Fine. I can understand that. It's sanitary. The urine is a al well, alkaline or acid. 
at all what I wanted to talk about. You're like not somebody in the shower. You like some. You like Madonna. You like Madonna. You like someone to pee on your feet in the shower. It's not at all what I wanted to talk about. Though I am a Madonna fan. No, yeah, well, she but likes to pee on her own. About. She likes to pee on her own feet in the shower. I like. I like. So. Yeah, no problem with that. But I, I do you one better. I pee on your feet in the shower. Don't worry. I drink a lot of coffee. It just smells like coffee. I will say this. I don't want to sell my brother out, but my brother once had a bunch of dudes pee uh, on his foot because he w we were in Jamaica and he stepped on a sea urchin. You guys into it. that kind of shit into Jamaica? No, 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 no. But he stepped on a sea urchin. And well, the uh, poor sea urch. So you guys, was, they found a sea urch, and then this so is the thing where he stepped on it, like a like at a no, Jewish wedding. We were we were swimming at the beach in Jamaica. He stepped on a sea urchin or whatever and got the spikes in him. Apparently, the uric acid or whatever in your mm. um, urine, it was oh, either God, uric I... acid or something, draws the needles of the uh, sea urchin out. And so, mm. my poor brother, at the age of let me see. I might have been 12, so he's 16 then. Uh, or maybe we were there younger than that. because. We and a bunch of men, a bunch of grown men was pissed on his feet? I remember at the beach, kind of like circled around him and all started peeing on his foot. I got a question. I got a question. Here's a question for you. Say you're at the beach in Jamaica with your daughter. Okay? Okay. Uh, okay. And she's about the same age, 16, no? She's 15, yes. Okay, same difference. Okay. Now, you go away, you leave, you go to get a, a coconut water, whatever the fuck you're getting out there, and the plantain, whatever. You're going to have getting. rum in it, whatever I'm getting. Yeah, okay, rum. hum. Patty. You're having a hum, a hum punch or whatever you fucking get. Then you come back, and she's got a whole bunch of guys around her peeing on her feet. Okay? Yeah. Men, grown men. Yeah. And then she go, you, you come, you go, what the fuck's going on? She go, don't worry. I step on a sea arch. Are you completely fine with that? No, I'm not. I'm not fine. But I'm. Going no, to I'm wondering. No, I'm just wondering. What do you? Remedy. No, I. I but I, isn't I, it? I, isn't it a a, a a conundrum? Because it is. Because it's Because they're saving her. They're saving her. But at the same time, it's like yes, it's no. grown men pissing on my on my teenage uh, child's feet. A hundred percent. Because I was just imagining your parents seeing. These grown men pissing on your brother's feet, and I, it's like a, it's like a, it's bittersweet, it's, to say the least. Exactly, it's very mostly bitter, and I would imagine, and it. And it's but you gotta think. Do you thank these guys afterward, or do you just I, go? The fact is that they knew that that was the cure, though. That's why you have to thank them, right? Because what if it's not? Otherwise. What if it's not the fucking cure? Well, but it is, though. I'm sure somebody else is. <laughs> people are people could say. But um, if somebody well, you know, it's semen is supposed you know semen is supposed to help with yeah. depression. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, no, it's just that no, it's true. Okay, but anyway, so I do remember this happening. I'm not making this up. I remember this as a kid, and uh, yeah. But so they are actually helping you out. So, like you said, do you applaud them or do you like kind of freak out? You you have to say thank you because that was the remedy. Like they knew that it worked. We didn't go to the hospital. Like, I don't remember going to the hospital or anything during our vacation. Like, it worked, apparently. What if we was, like, on a hike in, like, uh, Yosemite or something? Or, um, and, and then, like, a had a snake we bite my Johnson through. through. I will not. You're going to die. And may you rest in uh, peace. Let's it's, go. Good oh, yeah. it, it's good to find out who you heal friends. It's good to find who you heal friends is these days. Pour, let's pour a little out. Okay, fair enough. Be like that. All right. Okay. What a question, Hanato. Well, we just talk about somebody peeing on your feet. Uh, you know, I don't think he's that far off. I, it's not that's a far a leap. Very, 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 very graphic and compromising question to ask. Well, there's a lot of rattlesnake, especially in the summer time. Well, then we just aren't going hiking, apparently. Well, you lost. Okay, so a uh, question for you. Uh, do you have favorite breakup songs? And I was talking to my daughter about this earlier in the car today. And a few, so there's a classic, I was looking up some, like a classic rock one. 
mm-hmm. was uh, Fleetwood Mac "Go Your Own Way." Okay, but two I of don't... my favorite. Okay, yeah. what? No, I was gonna say that. Okay, that's. I think that's that's for a different stage of the breakup. I think that's exactly. for when you're starting to creep out. For the female, especially that one, I could imagine where she's starting to get over the guy. She's like, fuck you. You can go your own way. You know, but I was thinking about breakup shit being like the stuff that's the way you're wallowing in that shit. Angry you know? or? Well, you no, not angry. I'm, I'm hardly angry in those situations. It's like you hurt. You know what I mean? You, oh, okay. whether, whether or not you was the one who got broken up with, which I never seem to be the one, um, or if you're doing the breakup, it's hurt your heart. You know what I mean? You feel like shit and you can imagine the good times and you imagine like, ah, this person feel bad. Ah, God, ah, you, you know what I'm saying? So what are some of those songs? I had to think about that. God, are you, okay. um, cause I was going to say, I don't, I'm not an angry person in general. Well, that's not true. I have a lot of repressed anger. No shit. You have a lot of repressed sexuality. Paul. Probably true, but you I also have a lot have of some, you're into urine. No, I'm not. I, I you also into, a... You're also into spit and horse play. No. I have a lot of repressed anger. Okay. Not repressed is not the right word. Squash down. Squash down. Um, you like someone to squash you down? But I would say that two of my favorite sort of breakup FU songs are the classic, the classic, duh, uh, Alanis Morissette, you ought to know. And I just oh, yeah. okay. watched the Alanis Morissette documentary on HBO, and I know it was, oh, you know, God, problematic yeah. or whatever, but it is. But I I, 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 I'm never going to find out. <laughs> I'm never going to find out. Why? Because I'm pro- I, there's a good chance I'm not going to watch the Alanis Morissette documentary. <laughs> Why? Because it's not high on the list of the documentaries that I got to get you for. Okay. Huh? okay. Okay. Let's put it anyway. to you that way. Not that I'm against it. It's, I'm probably not, I'm probably going to go my whole life without ever getting a hound to that one. Look, at, here's the thing. I've actually seen Alanis in concert. Oh, um, that makes one of my us. friend. Well, my friend Chris Whitley opened up for her. May he rest in peace, Chris. Uh, oh, God, opened up for her on one of her tours. Um, but she's. I think she's great. Uh, she's not bad. I just not my I bad. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't love the documentary, and like I don't love everything about like every like I'm not like some diehard fanatic, but um, but I think she 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 she's done a lot, and she did a lot, and she uh, um, you know, made a blueprint for a lot of people, and paved the way for a lot of people, and made access for a lot of people that wasn't there prior to her. So that is very great. But um. Uh, you mean white ladies making songs about breaking up with guys? She, no, she, anyway, she blazed point, the trail for that one. My point is, you ought to know is a fantastic song. Flea from the Chili Peppers is, it is the uh, bass player on that song. It's a fantastic song. And the other song that I actually really love, which is corny because I'm not a pop person, like I like rock and roll and find harder stuff much more. But Kelly Clarkson's "Since You've Been Gone" is awesome. I'll tell you what, I checked that one over the other shit. Oh yeah. Uh, no, because you know what? As much as I would like to say, oh God, when that, you know, you hit, I think it's because of the, the, yeah, it sounds good. You know what I mean? Like the, it's one of those one that you, I would never want to admit that one. I'm admitting that one here, I guess. You sing since you were gone in your car? No, nah, not to that extent, but I, I, I would never sing along with that one, but there's something about it. Maybe it's like the, the instrumental of it. Something about it gets you hyped. It, 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 it chaps into something. It's not really the since you've been gone of it all. It's not he I don't even think he's her singing that's doing it for me. It's whatever does the track, you know. Well, like the chorus the- is kind of rocking. She's like, they kind of bring it for the chorus. Oh, yeah, true, true. What she goes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look. It's kind of rocking. It's got it, it, it gave you the same same kind of uh like even when I was a little kid and that song came out, Love is a Battlefield, it wasn't, I was never, I wasn't like a Pat Benatar fan, like, I, you know, no little boy is like a Pat Benatar guy or something like that, but I still would find myself going like, Love is a Battlefield Park. You it's know what I'm saying? It's a great song. Yeah. yeah, well, so yeah, I think that's part, probably why I like it is that it's like on the harder side of pop. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, I watched American Idol, like the Kelly Clarkson season and stuff, and like, I'm not mad at her. I'll tell you what, 
I tell you what, I'm not mad at the one either. Um, speaking of a chunk, she's a little chunky, but she's she's okay. She is, but I'm okay, mad. but listen, me neither. But let me tell you something. Um, my favorite. Okay, you want to know what my favorite breakup song? Because I'll tell you why. It's probably my favorite because no matter what kind of breakup it is, I always play it when it is it, healing over. Okay, when I'm ready to to celebrate. Okay. And it's a little song by Cameo, and it's called Single Life for her. And it's all about celebrating living the single life because there is this feeling, even though the, you know, the silver lining, when you break up with somebody, no matter how sad it is, no matter all that shit, the silver lining is, I can do whatever the fuck I want now. You know what you I know mean? you were tired of some of their stuff. Well, it's it, even, even less about that. It's more like, uh, that's true. But you, the world become your oyster all of a sudden. Like all the chicks you're looking at out in the street and all that kind of shit. You're like, ah, I can actually there's a possibility. You know what I'm saying? Like there's more. Like it's like oh, all new. You're renewed. World. You got a new life. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're listening to that song. Go, brum, 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 brum. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that shit. And then it's that is a good song. living the single life. life. Mm. You are, yo, for folks should know, you are an admitted cameo fan. I am uh, a very big cameo fan. We have talked, and about they have cameo. a lot of good songs for every occasion. But that one have, is one that, if you want to celebrate being newly single, there you can you can't do better than that one. But we have talked. Th there's a song about wallowing in this shit. Um, there's a couple one. Um, for me, breakup songs can also, I can listen to breakup songs. It's also grief songs for me uh -huh. because sometimes I can listen to a song. Like there's a very touching song and I'm going to get serious for one second. Okay. There's a touching song, um, by Nina Simone. Oh, she's amazing. And it's called my man is gone. Okay. okay. Now. I remember a friend, a good friend of mine, when I was about 20 years old, he was also 20. Uh -huh. He was drowned and passed away, okay? This was one of my very close, closest, closest friends. I remember when I was just kind of wild. No, no, it's, it's, I, that, you know, it's been a long time, you know? Uh, not that long. I'm not that older than 20, but it's been a couple of years. A friend of mine died right after college, too, so I understand the feeling of dying. Well, now, let, let's, you know what? Forget about my situation. I guess let's make it about... No, I'm just saying I understand. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm life. kidding. I'm kidding, uh, Karen Branch. I'm kidding. Now, um, he would he would have wanted that way for her. Now, this song, even though she was singing about a man, my man is gone. Mm -hmm. The way she's singing is very haunting, you know, and it's almost sound like an old like. It, there's almost something creepy about the song, you know. And when you hear it, if you go go look it up, my man is gone, uh, Nina Simone. And it's very, it's haunting, okay? And very hard for, you know how she sings. But in that one, I was talking about my man, my, you know, my, my dude, you know? And it was like, so to me, it had the same feeling to that. So I was like, God, are you, my man is gone, you know? Like, but it, so it can, you can take shit to mean different stuff, you know? Um, and in that same way, there's a breakup song um, by, what's his name? Of course, I'm going to forget the name. But you know the guy who did um, um, Everybody's Talking at Me? Uh, um, Harry Nilsson. Everybody's Talking Harry Nilsson, right? Everybody's Talking at Me. You know that one? Well. Okay. That's yeah. a great song. Now, he have a song. Yeah. Only the Very echoes bad. of my mouth. Yeah. 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 People stop still. Okay. So now, yeah. I can see the face. <laughs> Only the okay, shadow of the high. I'm gonna run to yeah, so yeah. <laughs> the super soul sounds of the 70s. Okay, so now he have a song. Uh, um, oh, fuck! Now I can't remember the fucking name of cool the song. Story. Hey, Forgot Max Payne Griff. What up? Oh, Max I sent you the. Max McGriff is here, I think. He might, I, if he wants to join, if he can join, he's going to join. Uh, I'm not sure he can. But you can't remember this Harry Nilsson song now? Fuck. 
Nothing compares to you. Scott Rizzo saying nothing compares to you. That is a great song. The Prince song that, of course, uh, got even more famous by Shania. Oh, oh, here's one. Now, you mentioned in Prince. Here's one that'll get you fucked up. You ever heard the song, How Come You Don't Call Me Anymore? I'm sure I have. That's an older one. If you need to, that one will fuck you the fuck up. That, that might be, that's up there with the breaking up is the breakup song that 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 one can get get you all fucked up yeah prince kid that prince one kid. It, it, everybody out there uh, uh, uh america no i'm kidding uh the prince. world who is listening um uh how come you don't call me anymore that is prince. a great song and i think there might be a couple version but it's one where he's just on a it's just him on a piano it, it, by it's himself. very simple right? yeah Okay, so so a song that is not a breakup song. Well, why are you? I thought that's what we were talking about. I know it. It is. It's not about. It's not a breakup song, but it's a like a missed opportunity song. It's a like a heartbreak song, that is probably one of my. It well, it would be one of my like top three heartbreak songs, and one of like top ten. Like it could. It's top twenty songs of all time for me, at at, at least. Okay. Is Lover You Should Have Come Over by uh, Jeff Buckley? Do you know I don't know song? that one. I like it. I, I, I like some Jeff Buckley shit, but I, I don't know that one. So if anybody knows so this song. I'll look it up Lover, afterwards. It's called Lover What? Lover You Should Have Come Over. It Ooh. is heart-wrenching. Like it, 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 it's like you listen to it, you're like, oh, oh my God. Like, um. it's, at the, it's, at, it's, it's at the same. It's like the most like – in love and like uh, sad about your situation at the same time and like wallowing song and like celebration song it's like all of these things rolled into one it's called lover you should have come over and it it, it it's lit it it's it's like a stop what you're doing and like just focus on this song song it's yeah. unbelievable okay i gotta fuck with that one I'm surprised you haven't brought up more of that singer song hider shit. Like, uh, what's that one? Uh, what's that one? That one chick from the from that time period. Like, she would oh, be. Chris the, Cornell the... did a good cover. They're right. You're right. Chris Cornell did a cover of that on the on the record. Yeah, well, that was kind of the incomplete one. He did a great cover of that Chris Cornell. Oh, the song. Okay, so you're saying I don't. I bring oh, well, up let's belabor right? that one. Uh, no, 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 I'm kidding. Uh, Carol King. You know, she have like. Uh, yes. What's the couple one she do where it's like, fuck, she have one that's like the classic of that shit, you know? Oh, yeah, Carol King, because her, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But what's yeah, the I one? Know. What's like the one, the one, you know, where it's I know, like, I'm looking at it right now, though, because I know what you're talking about. It's the one that everybody knows. Um, all I can think of right now is you're so vain. That's not her because. And that's, that's Carly Simon. And that would be like, know, her, it's like her, her contemporary. It's yeah. Her, or that would be her like nemesis. You know, not a friend or it's too. No, it's too late. It's, baby, yeah. They, yeah. Know. That. That. Yeah. Too yeah. Late. Yeah. That's that one. the best breakup song. You're right. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, that's a fantastic breakup song. All that shit from back then is like that. Like, like, like some, some Jim Croce shit, you know, like. There's a lot of you know good I mean? 70s songs. Yeah. Those guys were feeling the heartache back then. Right? Yeah. Oh, you know what's another one? I, I can't tell if it's about grief or – but it's the same shit. But it's either grief or breakup uh, or something like that, uh, that That uh, James Taylor, Fire and Hang, you know? I don't like James Taylor. I, I, whatever, but that song is a very – Boring uh, Sydney. Boring Sydney. Okay. I think you have a problem with it, James Taylor. Because I do. It, it you know there's nothing more boring than about about him than fucking uh carol king or any of the other fucking people you no nah, james taylor isn't like oof. i disagree i disagree boring. um okay you, I'm have, you, at the you have an interesting great. you have an interesting sense about you young lady Okay, um, I'm looking at some of the, the – the, they're saying the best breakup songs ever. The number one breakup song they're saying is I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James. And I'm not – unfortunately not familiar – as familiar with it. But this one, you know, that song, Somebody That I Used to Know. No, who's that one? Elliot Smith. 
but it's just like but remember what's his face did that um also um what's his name did a cover like you're just somebody that i used to know like um i don't know that one didn't have to piss me off got your money and da -da, they called your number you, someone i used to know okay that's i'm not hip to that one that's a good one i will always love you they're saying it's a breakup song i don't know Neither one I of think us. that that's more of I think that that's more of like a um like I'm pledging my love to you kind of thing. I didn't get the sense that that's like I, I, I'm done. That it's a breakup song. Done. Is that yeah. I guess? I don't know. I don't know. I guess because they're saying Dolly Parton did it, you know, because. Uh, yeah, but let's face it. We're not talking about uh, her rendition. We're I know talking we're about talking the about the version from the Bodyguard or whatever. And they're saying it, at the time it was the best-selling American single in history. Um, blah 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 blah. But yeah, I always thought of it as a more of a like a thanks for the memories. I'll always love you. Yeah, I didn't think of it as a breakup song as much either. I thought it was like uh, like thank God I found you. Like, like where they hug each other and like, and like he's take the tape off him or like he's undo the hat, whatever, you know, like the, right. whatever the fucking, and yeah, I, I love you, Paul. And he's like, I love you too. You're black and you're white. And let's do, uh, do it in a quad. Okay. What do you think of the, of the, uh, what do you think of, um, you've lost that love and feeling the old classic from the right. You know brothers. what? To me. That one is so ubiquitous, like it, 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 it's lost its meaning even. It's, it's been in so many commercial and so much stuff that it almost just sounds like an oldie. I mean, it sounds nice, but right. I don't think of sadness when I, I almost just sounds like, and it's go, go, ooh, and, you know, and you have to, yeah, you're like, you're, it's more like you're going like, Cara, you, hey, that's the oldies, you know, it, it, for some reason, I think like the uh, original enchant got lost. I, I wouldn't get sad when I listened to that one. Let's put it to you that way. Yeah, I think it could be, I think it could be anything about anything on that one. Okay, so people like uh, Eminem and Rihanna love the way you lie. That's, you know, people like that song. Oh, okay. Because um, the lyric, just you're going to stand there and watch me burn. That's all right, because I like the way it hurts. You're oh, just going to stand there and hear me cry. That's all right, because I love the way you lie. It, you know, that's for some people. That's not for your uncle. No, no. no. Um, okay. There's uh let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the old classic Rod Stewart, Maggie May song. That is a great breakup song too. Though. Maggie, he, it's just because he's a young guy with an older girl and he's just like, I gotta, I gotta go. Right. <laughs> Literally, he says, I know you, I know Wake I keep up, you amused. Yeah. I know I keep you amused, but I feel I'm being used. Oh, Maggie, I couldn't have tried anymore. That's, you that's the story of your uncle Hanat. From home that just to save you from being alone. You stole my heart, and that's what really hurt. Remember that? I think that's a guy having an affair for her. A lot of a song. And he fucked up his whole situation by fucking with her, and now he's like, right. oh, I gotta argue. Shoot, I bailed on this thing. Now you drew me out of here, and yeah, you just used me because yeah. yeah you okay. use me for my body, like every other every female in my life. If for. we're talking about the F I F'd up, and we're now we now I blew it song. This is a good list because this one is true. Careless Whisper by George Michael. That's a great one, of course. That's that's probably the classic. Yeah, that, I mean that's 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 probably the one of like I've I've done fucked up. Now we're gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Yeah, and that dude could fucking sing, poor huh? He could really sing. Yeah, he's like he's up, he's up there. Um, you know what I like? Poison Clan. I hate hoes. Have you ever heard that one? It go, I hate hoes. Hoes hate me. And that's like you just agree. You just you like fuck it. I hate you know. I don't know that one. Oh, well, some people in here probably know. That. I'm not as uh, I'm not as familiar. We also that. have one called uh, the bitch that I hate. But that's about a relationship gonna high. That's more like the gripes about each other. It's not okay, being sad. Do, yeah. How do you feel about Ariana Grande? Thank you next. I think she's very cute, but I don't I couldn't name one fucking Ariana Grande song to if, if with a gun to my head. Not not even one. Not even whatever the Thank you next. Say again. Thank you next. I just gave you a song of hers. Okay, and even you're giving me the title. I wouldn't know that song from a fucking hole in the wall. Okay. Um, okay. 
Another famous person, Two I couldn't things. name one song, uh, but Justin Bieber. I, I couldn't name not one song. And then he's one of the most popular people on earth. I, 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 I wouldn't know to pick out a Bieber song. Right. Well, I took my daughter to see Ariana Grande when she was younger. Yeah. And so that was kind of fun. But um, Thank You Next is a, is a good breakup song. And she's kind of literally like, yeah, we're good. Thanks for that relationship. I'm on to the next one. Thank You Next. And she okay, starts like right. listing off her old boyfriends and saying why this one was good for her. And this one taught her this. And this one taught her that. So Wait, like, didn't she hey, made that one? Like, Wait, is, is that the one she made after she got, she, she got hit of uh, uh, your boy Pete Davidson? I thought it was. I'm surprised you haven't slept with Pete Davidson yet. I mean, I'm just saying he, he seems to sleep with everybody. I'm surprised he haven't slept. I haven't slept with the fucking guy at this point. I told point. you I'm a face person. Oof. Yeah, but some women like that. That Steve Buscemi no, thank look. You next. Uh uh. I know, but to some people, they like that look. I will say this: if you can make me laugh, you're gonna that huh. that that's like major major. He looked like point. Gomez. He looked like Gomez from the but original. Adam family. I gotta have a face. I can't. I gotta have a face. Well, so supposedly he got a big schwanz. I don't care. I gotta have a face. Okay, Sorry. Well. Can't. Can't. Okay, then you know what else? Switch yourself. But but I'm saying to fall in love. How about that? What are we talking about? Are we talking I, about? Did I say how come you haven't fallen? Have you fall? Haven't how I haven't said? I still why you didn't ever fall in love with Pete no. Davis. The record. No, thank okay. you. Next. No, thank you. Next. Uh uh. No, no. Well, you're lost, Paul. Huh? I, apparently, that's okay. He touched a lot. I don't need what they have. I'm good. Thank you for that. Huh. Well, I'll check some thank of what you Ariana for the Grande. But no. I'll take some of what Ariana Grande <gasps> got. T wow. Brown talking about Dolly's Jolene. Jolene. Oh, yeah. Jolene. Jolene. But it's don't take my man. That's a great, it's not a breakup song. It's just a, yeah. like a please don't, yeah, please don't, please don't. I yeah. love my man. Please don't take it. Please don't steal him. Yeah, that's a Act heavy just duty. Just because you can. Ooh, Jolene is vicious. That's a great You know song. who's got some stuff on, on, along those lines? Is, uh, Jolene is you, great. You girl, uh, what's her name? Um, my brain is fry at this point. Uh, you know, the great singer who we love. Um, I don't know, but I will. From the 60s, uh, the, the one who had the haspy voice that's like, um, I love this chick too. Uh, Big Brother and the Holding Company. Um, oh, Janice Joplin. Yeah, Janice Joplin. Ooh. She have a song, she have a couple uh, songs where she's like, sound like her fucking guts is hipping out of her, oh, you know what I mean? Always. Like, like she's amazing. That stuff, whew, I mean. That woman, like she felt everything. Yeah. She felt it. She is mm -hmm. unbelievable. I tell yeah, you what, so I, Rose, I, the, the movie that Bette Midler did where she basically plays a Janis Joplin yeah, type person, yeah. that movie, The Rose, is I fantastic. remember that. Yeah, I remember it that. She's a, another, another good actress that could sing Listen, for Bette Midler is awesome. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. may be like, who's that old lady or whatever? Well, like, that's, you, you know, it, it, it's a generational thing. You know, we it, know it who's It is generational, one. but if you, um, wanna, if you went back and looked at The Rose, that movie mm -hmm. killed. Mm. I haven't seen it movie. since I was a kid. Uh, it's a great movie. But yeah, I, the, 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 if you like a documentary, uh, uh, if you're not too busy with the fucking uh, uh, Alanis Morissette well, one or whatever, uh, the documentary that came out like two years ago or a year ago about um, Janis Joplin, oh, poor her. I have not seen it, but I love her. So I've seen yeah. different things about her. So maybe I did. I this is know. in particular, this one is very good for her. I have seen some things about her, though. Yeah, no, she's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, she's fantastic. Um, what was I going to say? I was just going to say there was another. Uh, oh, or did somebody another fucking up? pop star, another teenage pop sensation, or whatever? No, there was another great. Somebody mentioned another great like breakup song or whatever. Um, uh, somebody mentioned the Cure. I mean, Jeff McClurdy sang the Cure love song. That was a good one. A classic um, one is "The Thrill Is Gone" for her. The thrill is oh, the thrill is gone. Is gone. The thrill is gone. Um, the you know what? Oh, BB King. my dad loved BB King. Now speaking, so I love BB King. King. Now, now, speaking of Blowfly, you remember the guy we was talking about who did the song? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He did a version of that called "The Spoil Is Gone" for her, mm -hmm. and he goes, "The spoil is gone. The spoil is gone away from me. The spoil is gone." 
And he's all, I've been working all day, and bitch, you keep fucking with me. The spoiling is gone. It's kind of a check on the thrill is gone. You, know, you understand? Uh, it's like a, understand. a play on words. I do understand. It's funny because it actually gave me occasion to uh, check my um, To give watch. you chills? To give to check your what? Your... My watch. Oh, I thought you was checking you. What's that thing you do when you see if you can, you know, the hidden method, see if you can not get pregnant or whatever? Oh, I thought I was supposed to do this at some point during the show. No, that's to sniff your, the, your awful vagina for her. That's to sniff where the sun is never shine for her. It says, How do you know uh, it's never shine there? How do you know I've uh, never laid out naked? It says, Cal the cabinet How of do Calabari. How you know it's never shined there? Yeah, I probably have. It probably got sand on that one. And dust at this point, poor huh? And also That's cobweb. Exactly true. You go like this. <laughs> That's so sad. I can't believe you just called me out on that. Why did I just admit that? It is literally. It is I go like this. <sighs> and this. You know, I can draw, you know, like that stuff like wash me. You know, when you go on somebody's window. Oh, I know. Oh wow, God are you? Oh, wow. Well, I mean it's depressing. Yeah, you know. It, it is actually really depressing. That's what this show is sweet and sour. You can you you, you get the, the sweet. We're ending it or we're gonna sweet, end on a sour note. My point was that it's the sweet smell of success food. and the agony of defeat. And also, you love defeat when it comes to sex. You, you said earlier, you like a feet. You like people to put your dip your toes in you, well, and you in. like a urine. Nice callback. You like um, you like cosplay where you. I don't them... like Bill Cosplay. I don't like Bill Cosplay. Exactly. No, you do because the guy you love is dressed up like a Bill Cosby. Or is it that you dress up you like a cos? No. Um, oh my god okay 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 um tesla's love song okay hey nice that's a good one that's a good one. Oh, air supply all out of love is a great song I'm all out of love. that's another one though one, that Lord, I DJ, that's a great song which one which one? Oh, the i'm all out of love, yeah, all out of love. you know what's funny you know what's funny though that's another one that's so it was so on the radio, and it's so that I, I, I don't get sad when I hear that one. I almost just go like, I just, you just start like enjoying that one. It don't make me feel bad. Okay. Speaking of, okay. If we're talking all out, if we're talking air supply, I'm, you know what song is great if we're going back then for Ario Speedwagon? Heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend. I might, to be honest. I, I might not another you've been messing around. I might not know that one. I am sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I might not know that one. And I usually know that stuff. Take uh, it I, on the run, baby. Yeah, I was not a, a big oh I was not a big H E O speedwagon guy. Wow. It's I the prefer whole, the whole I song prefer is about bread. him hearing about his girl is stepping out on him all over town and she's running all over town. No. And he's just hearing about it and he's like no. he's hearing it from a friend. Like there's a I, lot of those. There's a lot of those. Every too. Weekend, you're doing this and like and he's like, You take it on the run, baby. That's the way you want it, baby. Uh, and, and like, Maybe I'm just the way you're singing it. Maybe you're hearing you hearing it. Know? I probably know it when I hear from the heel version. Who the way you're singing it sounds like it's like a fucking uh, a, a, a country song or something like that. Like, I heard it from a friend. It's kind of. I heard it from a friend. I'm not doing it justice. I'm not, I'm not doing it justice. You're doing it like alfalfa, remember? I'm not doing it justice. Hey, oh, my oh my god oh my god i'm not doing it justice you're right you're right i i, I blew it on that but it's a now what, don't air love supply and touch and squeezing from journey you're right paluka paluka palooza love and touch and squeezing from journey is an amazing song that's a breakup song i don't know um i want to say there's some bob dylan shit that's sad like that but 
a lot of the ones, but I don't know if it's about a breakup. Say, I yeah. don't know if it's about a breakup though, but there's some ones where you're like, oh, God, I... mm-hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, wait, uh, what, what, okay, so so oh, meatloaf. There was somebody was singing that there was a the, one of the meatloaf songs. <laughs> meatloaf. Um, I can't. I'm any, not putting meatloaf on any of my songs about breakup. Anything I mean, for I'm, love. The I would do. It. So you're gonna listen to that. that you're that gonna a, listen to that uh, after you no, break up with someone. You you really really gonna listen to like oh, but I would do that. I mean, that's more like sounds like something on a commercial or something like that. But rest in peace, meatloaf, huh? Oh, yeah, by the way, I should, I should acknowledge. I should acknowledge Hanato. Oh, we had a few do donations. Uh, Tim Klingbeal had asked Hanach, "Is it true that you were once a backup dancer for Keith Sweat?" He had a donation for a short period of time. Time. For a short period of time. Uh, I was doing that. I used to do a, I, 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 we had a contract with Six Flag and we played the Six Flag all over, up and down the contiguous United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. yes. So funny enough that he, he found by he did your research. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. So there's another donation that we got from Mike Sinatra. Uh, How much, Poha? Uh, if, if, he's, if he's related uh, to the Hill Sinatra, he better come with more than a $5. A little less. It was just a dollar ninety nine. But apparently, I'm I'm on discount KB tonight because he said, "Do you really have cheeks?" Because I don't see it. I mean, yeah, kind of. I show him a little. That's a boot. Uh, like, not too shabby. You got thick thighs. That's that's that's. I got strong. a lot of. I'm all. Th I'm more thigh than cheek, if I'm honest. Can I try something? It's okay. And there's not a lot of. I'm like you know when Kanye's like up top. She got two bee stings. You know what I mean? It's more like that. Whatever. Hey, listen. It's like that. A true, a true ass man don't give a fuck about the beast things. He's more concentrated on the cheeks. <laughs> but, uh, but I need, I need to do more with them. They need to, I need to lift more weights or something. They're okay, okay well, but they could be, be better. Hard. No, I'm being too fucking hard on yourself, God. I. I mean, apparently it doesn't matter because they're not in business anyway. So. <laughs> That's up to you. Who cares what they look like? <laughs> Ain't what? nobody seen them anyway. Well, um, you, you know, you got all the the stuffs, but you're not putting you're not you didn't put the stars open sign. You got the stars closed, and then you you <laughs> saying there's no fucking business. Who that's said your, that that's the stars was closed sign was out? Well, you're putting in a lot of restrictions. You're not gonna date somebody on the YouTube. -y. You're not gonna date a guy that's in this business or that business. Or he got his face that? can't no, I his face that. can't I look like uh, Peter Laurie or whatever. He um, can't look like Pete Dave. I mean Peter Davidson. Pete Davidson is like the modern day Peter Laurie. You he's remember they used to draw I'm him? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you know who is Peter Laurie? But he's not my type. Of course, I know who Peter Laurie. Well, do you remember they used to draw him in the in the uh, the, the the like Warner Brothers cartoons where he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, you know, that's how yeah, Pete Davidson look. He have like the dark. Yeah. Well, he does look like he needs more sleep. So who's better looking, him or Stevie Buscemi? Because I've seen women who, who like Steve Buscemi when he was younger, like in those days of the, there's a certain kind of woman that like a guy like that. Well, I will Even say though this. you don't. No, Buscemi, see, I'm more of a fan of Buscemi's work than I am of Davidson's work. I understand so that, but Buscemi there's, I, be more believe it or not, as a person. But believe it or I not, there's work. women who actually think he's cute. Sure. Listen, Buscemi, Fargo era Buscemi. Trees Lounge Buscemi. No. I've interviewed him before, by the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 God. Uh, here we go now. I have because Trees Lounge is a movie that he like directed. I remember that movie. It's a Trees and he played Lounge. the ice cream truck driver, and it's fantastic. And it's there's a, a bar. Movie. There's a bar, whatever. Yes, it's, it's a great I know. Movie. I saw. I saw that one. And, uh, but anyway, with him in Fargo, he's brilliant in Fargo. Fargo mm. is top 10 for me. So a great, he's great amazing. Fucking movie. I'm a huge Buscemi fan. It's a great fucking movie. I love that movie. Um, but yeah, there's there's some there's something for everybody, you know. Some people like some women like a fucking Willem Dafoe. God, are you? You know what I'm saying? I've interviewed him as well. Yeah, and there's a there's a somebody that's gonna find him good. You know, like there are certain people that's not everybody cup of tea, but there's women who like them beyond the fact that they talented. Like they like the way the guy looked. Well, I was going to say, yeah, his talent is so attractive. Like, he's incredibly yeah. gifted. Like, it, Willem Dafoe is like, he, uh, like yeah, he's, eh, bow down. Like, that guy's he's amazing. Great. He's amazing. Oof. 
Love him. Love, 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 love Willem Dafoe. Mm -mm -mm. Um, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, um, although, oh, we just got, thank you, Miami, Noel, 80, 815, $10 for us. So, Hanato, well, I thank you. Means, Half of that, that is going to me for her. I was going to say, I think that means you need to show a little skin for that. He already, he already got it more than his money is worth. We're going to get it that, no you don't even deserve none of this now. You, you guys is gonna, you guys is gonna go crazy if you see that. You guys is gonna want to have sex with me, poor. Huh? Let me see. Come on. No, you guys, that's too much for you guys. It's not gonna. You can't handle that. You're not gonna be able to fall asleep. <gasps> Somebody said White Sands. Scott Rizzo's White Sands. That was a good movie. White Sands. Oh good. yeah, 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 yeah. Him and like, uh, what was it? What? Is him and is this Brandon? No, it's no that I'm thinking of White Castle. That's different. White Sands. <laughs> no, no, it is. It is that one with Susan Sand. White Castle is a restaurant. I know, but there's a movie. It that better, it better not be called White Castle. Castle. Or is it White Sands where she's with the younger it guy? Is. Is that it Sands? is White Sands. It's not White Castle. <laughs> God, I that's not White yeah, Castle. Get a... That's Murder Burger. You're right. Yeah. White, 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 Let me White tell you Castle something. White Castle. Oof. The oh, last time I ate at White Castle, I think it was like in Queens or something like that. Mine uh, was in Brooklyn. Mine it might have been, and you know what? You know what? It might might have been Brooklyn too. It was after a fucking house party, and I remember I got sick because I was not of only course. was I fucked up, but White Castle. No, because I, 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 yeah, it was White Castle, but I did something you never do. Oh. I was so fucked up that I didn't just ate the burgers, but I went to the next level. I had the clam strips. Oh, poha. The clam strips is, is playing with Hush and Hula. You got cleaned out for like a good I was I was in a bad way, poha. After that. Ooh. You won't. Uh, never mind. Yeah. You don't order the clam strips. <laughs> don't do that. Sure, it's a classic. I'm sure but, that's but, uh, when people order that. They're like, really? They just go like this, one clam strip or whatever. They go, they go like this, one clam strip. What else you want? And so let me get a say one, one sucker. One yeah, one you go, one. you go, you get, you go. Let me get a, let me get a, a clam strip. One clam strip, one strip. How many I peas? Can't, I can't even right now. Like I literally can't right now because the Any, white, anybody have, had that oh in in the, in the fucking comments? Anybody oh had a white clam? Oh my God! You're killing me with the At, White Castle. Right oh, now. see, these is people who don't know White Castle. Oh my God! Oh my God, dude! For uh, those who don't know, oh, it's fucking horrible. It's like one of those things that you not you you just know better than to order that, you know. And then but, you fu you fucked up enough. You're like, yeah, give me one of that ones too. Fuck it. But I would never. Okay, because I we both of us don't eat meat anymore anyway. True. But like so, literally the last time I was at a White Castle, good God, must be. Mid nineties, I'm guessing. You yeah, know me mean? too. Me too. Mine you know, was about then too. Yeah. Back in Brooklyn, like you know, when I was still living in Manhattan and like out effing around with my fro. My yeah, you fucking hound at the parties and stuff. And it's like bulletproof and all that and like. Yeah, it's probably the same fucking one even. <laughs> totally. So that's the last time. But I will say this: every time I would fly to New York, and you come in from JFK. And you know how you're on the freeway and you look and over to the right, you see the White Castle there by the mall. Your and stomach you go, start hurting. I know. And every time I see it, I go, oh, White Castle. Yeah. You're like, well, I, I'm in the mood for gray, gray hamburger, gray sliders. I know. With the, I, it's the, all about the onions. I don't even want the meat. I just want the onions and the bread and the grease, if we're honest. And the cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those is, but boy, when you fucked up, though, them shits, oof. Nothing better. Those things have saved lives. You know what else? I think they have a clam strip and Nathan oh, hot dog. And Nathan, Nathan hot dog in the Coney Island, you have the clam yep. strip. Yep. Yeah. Oof. Yep. Yeah. You yeah. remember, yeah. I used to remember going to Coney Island and then you get a Nathan famous and then you get. Like they those crinkle cut fries and they put yes. the little those little fork and you go oh god I yes yeah so great well right, Andrew A said they had it like a week ago and I don't know if maybe they mean White Castle a week ago 
Uh, so good for you. Right. Miami Noel is saying 850 clam strips. Did I hear that right? Yes, apparently there's clam strips. I would have never ordered clam strips at White Castle. But no, I told you it was a mistake and it was something it was not my MO. I was just I was fucked up, you know. But Lord I was trying to get whatever I could, you know. I was like, what you got? You got clam strips. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, listen, I, what the fuck you want from me? I, I, uh, it was a long time ago. It's fucked up. Lord T. Jim said, yeah, White Castle will tear you up, boy. Yeah, oh, it fucking, it's fucking terrible. Oh, but P. P. Brown said, don't hate on White Castle. Harold and Kumar, Pedro Henrique. Uh, yeah, Harold and Kumar, they go, they, not, they go to White Castle. I don't they, check my culinary advice from Harold and Kumar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, funny though. But I'll tell you what, when when you fucked up and you're eating a lot of those burgers or whatever, you know, those little ones, yeah. it do, it, it do, it, it you know, I, I, I see the mystique to that one, you know, um, just stay away from the CS. I don't even like to say the name anymore. It's making me want to toss my cookies. No, but I will say, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I have, and probably even more recently than I care to admit. Well, though yeah. it actually, no, it's been, it's been actually, it hasn't been that recent because of the pandemic. Prior to the pandemic, it had been recent, but like, yeah. I'll hit a Carl's Jr. for some jalapeno poppers. I don't, I don't do what you want. I'm not going mean, to lie. Like those are, or Sonic, you know what I mean? For the poppers. Where the like, fuck I'm, do they have a Sonic? I've never been to a Sonic in my life. I never even seen one. Back and forth to Vegas on, in Victorville. Oh, on, the way to, on the way to Vegas in Victorville. You have to stop there. That's the only Bad one. Bad thing always happened to me in that fucking, that city. In that. That's the only one. Yeah. It's the um, only one. So if you're, if you're heading to Vegas, you know, it's going to be on your left. Coming home, yeah. Well, there's nothing right for here. me there anymore, anyway. Fuck it. The jalapeno poppers, I still believe. Okay, that's you. How about the clam strip? How's the clam strips? <laughs> Don't engage in eating. Oh, can you? Oh, <laughs> can you imagine to eat the ones like not fresh? They're bad enough, fresh. A imagine clam if you're in the desert. No, not in the desert, but I'm saying like, uh, it, like you know, the day after, you know what I mean? Like, if you was like, oh, what do I got? What do, what's still. What do I got here? And you're like, ooh. Um, uh, it's like the, the morning strip. after on the hangover and there's a clam the strip strips. From well, you know what else? Don't translate the next day. Fries. Ooh. They get stuck in your throat. And you, oh, yeah. You go like, hold on for a minute. Like, yeah, you got, it's like you eat a you fucking Bavarian, die, a Bavarian pretzel with no fucking water. Oh. It's incredible how that sticks there. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you think you, you yeah, you do think you're gonna die. You do you, you think for a second you go, wait a second, this might be it. Yeah, yeah. This is actually stuck. And your friends start laughing and then you're like, This is serious. You're like, No, I got a lot of potato <laughs> in my throat right now. Like I got a lot of potato in my throat. It's true, right now. it's true though. It's true on those fucking leftovers. I got a lot of potato in my throat. That's not a good leftover one. The only it's trick you can use if there was good fries to begin with. You can throw them in the fucking like toaster oven. Yes. Okay. Okay. You can okay. bring them back to life, kind of, but it, it, they had to have been good at one time because if they was limp to begin with, they never gonna be good. They ne they ain't gonna be shit, no matter what. You're right. I agreed on that. Well, and 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 Musio Cortez is saying KFC biscuits, uh, with no water. Like yeah. Exactly. That that's that that could kill you. That's well, worse than to be waterboard. The funny thing about the business, and the honey and the water, the water. My daughter, we were talking about Popeyes the other day, and like we we're saying, neither of us eat eat uh, eat chicken or meat really anymore. But um, but I do like a biscuit, and so I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just swing through Popeyes and just get a back a bunch of biscuits. And you did that? I have not. You just I'm went. Just oh yeah, that I you know I I I prefer. I'm like a drug addict with that stuff. I pr prefer just to keep myself out of the situation. Well, but biscuits are good, but. You know, no, I know, but I'm gonna mean, like I'm gonna stay away from like going to a place like that, you know, just to get a biscuits or whatever. Well, I'm not gonna get the chicken if I don't want the chicken. I'm not gonna get the chicken. Yeah, but you're gonna smell that chicken, <laughs> and that chicken be calling you, Paul, huh? just like those clam strip at at fucking White Cast. I can't believe you thought the fucking name of the movie was what you're like. No, no, not <laughs> you went ah, not White Sands, White Castle. God, are you? I'm such a it's like, huh? God, but White that Castle. Is a good movie. It is a good White movie. White Castle? <laughs> White Sands. Mm, White Castle. White, hey, White clam strips. Huh? 
It's been a couple hours. We should probably. I know it has been a couple hours. I, I'm about due for another piss. Same. Or wouldn't you like to know about that? I was that, probably huh? going to phrase it a little bit more elegantly. What are they saying in 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 London or whatever? They say like I'm going to have a slash or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to London in a few weeks. Oh yeah, you're gonna have the clam strips. They probably do a hell of a clam strips out there, kind of. They do a great fish and chips. I don't know about clams. Ask them if they, they can clams in England. I don't know. Why wouldn't they? They have each other. Chips, so I will absolutely throw down on some fish and chips wrapped in yesterday's newspaper. Absolutely. Yeah, you're into that kind of filthy, nasty stuff. So now you like your feet fetish. You have urine. You like your yesterday's news. You like your food. No, with a, but I told you my favorite. And somebody to beat you with yesterday's newspaper. I'm going over to Lo UFC London. I'm working UFC London, and I'm going to get my Notting Hill action. I'm a man. You want? I got three you, days to make it happen. You want what's his name, Hugh Grant, to hit you with a fucking old newspaper and pour balsamic vinegar or whatever they put on that and or malt, chips down malt, my throat. And mulch vinegar in your eyes and stuff and and, mm -hmm. and to go like this. <laughs> it's a perfect weekend. God, I and I sort of <laughs> fucking Hugh Grant. Now I like him now that he's old and salch. I actually heard him on a podcast. He was funny. He was he wasn't the kind of guy I thought he was. He wasn't he also, the he wasn't the guy that you like from the movies. He was much better than that. He was the well, opposite he, of what you want him to be. He's great in 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 love, actually. He's, he's more the guy from Divine Brown than he is those guys that you like. He's great Let's in about a boy. Way. Yeah. He's about, about he's boy, about he's great. He's about a black women is what he's about. Yeah. He probably love you. He's about divine brown. I he like it. He like light skin hookers that look half around the edges. You're gonna look great, boy. I am oh, not rough around the edges, and I am not a hooker. Mm. There's still time for her. <laughs> I know there. I know. You never know how okay. this shit's gonna pan out. You could hear it. <laughs> it is, it is. I am. I could okay. manage you. I could manage you, Poha. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Could I be your bottom bitch? Or or, mm. or or do you have somebody else already lined up for that? Oh, well, we'll see. None. I, I yeah. keep the only problem is I'm keep 100% of the proceeds. Gotta, well, you. that's not gonna work for me. Well, we'll see about that. I Sorry. provide everything, I provide all everything. All you gotta provide the money. I provide more than that. Hey, listen. I look. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. This ain't a conversation. Either you want to or not. I don't need you. I let the welfare feed you. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. Hey, folks. So, speaking of uh, uh, that, you know, we've actually spoken about that kind of stuff before. Um, on festivities, uh, on the after party, you can find all of our shows here on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube yeah. channel, YouTube forward slash Karen Bryant. Hey, listen, subscribe while you're here. I have incredible content from the last 10 or 12 years in the UFC and stuff. So there's like, I see people every day looking at our content and seeing my stuff and they're, they're like, oh my God, that's the, the way in with Brock Lesnar or that's the time when Chael did such and such or that's the time when John Jones. That's when Chael went, went, I can't let you get close. I can't let you <laughs> get close. Uh, yeah, we, so we got a lot of, I, 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 there's I can't a lot let you of get close. close. There's a there's a lot of stuff on my on my uh I on can't my let you get close. I can't let you get close. So just so so subscribe. Um Angela Hill and I do a podcast every Sunday. Hanato and I are here every Tuesday. Um and so listen, uh hit that sub button, but also you can catch all of our shows also on festivities.com. There's two Sunday festivities and the, the after party, and we have had Man. so many great guests already, mm. like so many, many A-list celeb fighters. Oh, it's so many. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And not so mm -hmm. Yeah, and just it's perfect timing that we're wrapping up because I think his internet is giving out as well. But yes, Hanato oh, okay. under, underscore Laranja is where you can find him. 
Uh, and for me over on Instagram, I'm at KB Heat. That's where we do Tuesday night festivities every week, uh, Tuesday night at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on my IG live. And then we bring it over here to YouTube and to festivities.com for the after party. So thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, please check out past episodes because they're a lot of fun. And please tell your friends yeah. about it too. And you're welcome, everybody, because it's free. I don't have to do this, but I do it anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Ciao.